lot thought Derek Jackson was bad. Oh, nigga, I got a new one for you, man. How's it going, you lot? Hope you lot are well. Oh, man. So I'm on my Instagram today, and I'm just going through my feed. I'm just looking through, oh, you know, let's see what's good. And I came across Made You Think's page. And for the past week, he's been posting this fucking goofy-ass guy. And I thought, you know what? Let me have a look into his into his account. So, you know, I went on Twitter, done my research. Don't even have Twitter, by the way. But you know what? I thought, you know what? I'm fighting this man. And I'm tearing into him. Because, boy, some of the shit he's been saying has been wild. So, if you haven't heard of him, he's some sort of pastor, apparently, for women's rights. Let's listen to what the man has to say. That nigga got paid this week. He ain't fucking think about you. Did he hit you off with that? But then he ain't your fucking text message talking about, Hey, what's up? What you doing this weekend? So... So I get paid, working hard all month for my peas. Why do I have to break you off some? The fuck? Unless you're my wife or unless you're my mother, no woman is entitled to my peas, bro. Some of you women out here trying to live life on easy mode, you know, talking about, oh, a guy has to do this, a guy has to buy me that. I'm not going to lie, but here's my question for it. If a guy has to do all of this, what the fuck do you do? That's my question. What do you do? What do you add a value besides pussy? Because I'm not going to lie to you. I can get that anywhere. So now we come down to what are you really off? What's what are you really bringing to the table for? And don't say you're at the table because that's a fucking cop out. And it's a load of shit. And you know it is. So just cut the bullshit. What are you actually bring to the table? Because pussy and being able to cook are two things you cannot say. That's what I'm saying about that. Let's keep watching, though. You was on my mind. How the fuck was she on your mind? You ain't sending no fucking money, stupid. That's why it's always cool to keep a calm two niggas in case one of these dickheads don't fully provide. Oh! Oh! So it's calm to have two men that don't provide for you, but if I want to have two bitches because one don't want to give me pussy, then what? You what? Then what? Isn't that the same logic? Ain't that the same logic? No one can get mad at me for saying that because at the end of the day... You're coming on some thing of, oh, I have to have two, man. Let me see which one provides more for me. I'm not going to lie, but let me have two women and see which one provides the most cooch, bro. Let me, let's just see that. Let's see that. Do you know what I mean? Like, flip the genders in any of these, in any of these videos I'm going to show you and watch the outrage happen. I'm going to tell you right now. Like, it's mad. First of all, I'm not going to lie to you. I just want to put this out there now before I say anything else. Don't take advice from this fucking goofy-ass nigga for two reasons. First of all, this guy apparently beat the fuck out of his baby mums and now he's coming to give women advice talking about I'm a woman's rights activist. But I'm not going to lie to you. The only right you were giving your woman was the right hook. What did you say, man? You were treating him like Billy Joe Saunders was against Canelo, bro. You just popping eye sockets for jokes. To the body as well. There's the uppercut and he nods yes that Obviously, domestic violence isn't a funny thing, but you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not trying to make light of it, but if this goofy ass niggas who you're going to for advice, hey man, I don't know what to say for you, G. I don't know what to say for you. Second of all, I refuse, absolutely fucking refuse to take advice from a nigga with tattoos on his face. This nigga, look, and, and I'm not going to lie you, can we talk about the mustache, bro? You can have a man. Because it's looking like a loading bar on my PS4 when my screen was bugging, fam. Why Why is the middle missing, bro? Why is this shit here gone, bro? What? What, you're getting backshot so much in prison that you just lost that because of stress, bro? Alopecia on the thing, bro. The fuck out of here, man. Stop making niggas think you can't be a player too. Keep two men until one of them want to overprovide the other one. When one pays for everything, then you can have a man. Fuck out of here. Dumbass nigga. Let's watch the next one. The money. I don't mean she owe you nothing, Playboy. It's not how the game works. It's all in delivery, how you go about things. Women are attracted to confidence in a man. Just send her the money. Do what you're supposed to do as a man. Women are attracted to confidence, so send her the money. I can't think of anything more simpy and pussy like than just sending money to think that, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this woman because of that. What? What? My, my brain is hurting from the lack of logic. Man said women like a confident man. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I shouldn't need peace to be confident. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. Like I'm not gonna lie. And I'm being real and saying this, ladies. There's a lot of you that are fuck men for a lot less than what this guy is saying. He's talking about, oh yeah, you know, give her money and that. Some of you are being hoes for free. Just saying. 
That's not untrue. Some of you are being hoes for free, and some of you are be are selling mandem the oasis in the desert with some of the shit that you say and do. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If you think that you're gonna get this treatment and you've been hoeing out, you're mad, bro. The only person I would ever give money to is my wife. We need to stop normalizing this in this generation that just because you throw some cooch, you automatically deserve money, bro. If you want that, become a fucking prostitute then. Go on a, go on the corners, fam. But I'm not gonna lie to you, a lot of men are gonna GTA you and run you over and take that money back, you know. That's what I'm throwing out. <laughs> And I'm not going to lie here, some of you want money, and you've got subpar cooch, bro. Subpar, fam. I'm talking like, you think it's up there, it's all the way down there, bro. Don't come on some, oh, you should give me money for some... Let her feel natural about it, like you did that out of purity. Don't be trying to hawk her down all day because you gave her money. The more you do for a woman with confidence, the more she comes submissive. <laughs> what do I know, though, right? You don't know shit, bruv. You're just talking at your ass because you want to pander to these women, bruv. Like, I'm not gonna, this is Derek Jackson, Justin LeBoy. This is bare man just meshed into one loading boss uh, mustache having, tattoo face having, fucking... I can't lie. When I first saw this, I thought nigga was gay. I can't lie. Like, is this nigga gay, bruv? Because there's a lot of hatred for men here and I only ever hear man them talking about their boyfriends this way. So... I'm confused now, bro. Like, it's, 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 what? Treat her, treat her. She already went on a date with you. Now give her some fucking money. Then you want to wonder why you don't get no pussy at the end of the- Hang on a minute, because using this logic, if we go on the date and I've wasted my time, surely I should be getting some pussy. What? So what? Because you went out with me, I have to give you peas. But more time, if you go out, if, if I go out with you, I don't get nothing? No? Bro. There's a lot of men right now not watching Full Metal Alchemist, you know. Watch it and learn about the law of equivalent exchange, bro. Talking about, oh, I got to put in, but you don't get nothing back. No, fam, that's not how alchemy works, you know. You got to be slapping in from both sides to get something out of it, bro. Don't, don't come on that. The first of the second date. You didn't let this girl get her hair, her nails done, pick out her outfit and drive to you. Offer some free dinner and a fucking conversation. And you think that you go ahead at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, yeah. Like I said, there's a lot of women who have fucked man for a lot less than that. That's what I'm finding out. There's a lot of things out here who ain't even going on dates, bruv. They're just laying out cooch straight away. So, this this has to be an American thing, surely, bruv. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, fam. From what I've seen on social media, American girls are an extra level of tap, bruv. I thought British girls were bad enough. American girls are fucking tapped, fam. Talking about man's got a cash at me, this and that. For what, bro? For some mediocre chuckle brother's pussy. But get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here with this bullshit, bro. About our oh, men need to just be giving money out. For who, bro? So I'm working hard. And what? I got to give you peas and get nothing back. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Go ask the other nigga that's, that's out providing you, apparently. <laughs> Listen, if he don't do nothing for you on the first date, I, sw I swear to God, when you get back in the car, just text your ex. Just go ahead and text your ex. If he doesn't do anything for you on the first date, go back to the car and text your ex, bro. Oh, yeah. What happened to your chef, There is powerful yeah. niggardry at work here. Yeah. I'm really trying, you know. I'm not going to lie to you. Fuck this nigga, man. That's what I'm going to say. Man said, if you're doing nothing for you, if you're doing nothing for you on your first encounter, keep it in mind, this is the first time I'm meeting you. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've already got reservations about paying for certain things, but I'm not gonna lie, but if you don't look the way you look in your pictures, I'm not paying for you, simple as. Because to me, more time, you sold me a dream. That's, that's, that's misrepresentation. A lot of fucking advertiser companies get sued for that shit, bro. And what, you think you're gonna come here looking meaty, and I'm gonna give you my piece? The fuck out of here, bruv. I'm with you. Howdy, Bitch, howdy, ass niggas, howdy. your niggas howdy. can't be around here no more, dog. Yes. Skedaddle, get the fuck out of here. Get the fucking moving, dog. Yeah, Skip fucking battle. Fuck get the here. fuck out. Cut from here, bro. Even the spiders saying cut from here, bro. Like, get out of here, fam. Chatting is bullshit, bro. Talking about first date, give us some money, bro. For what? I'm giving her my time. Isn't that precious enough? Now I gotta give her my fucking peas. Get the fuck out of here, bro. More time, I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah. Real women are not gonna take this advice. 
I'll tell you why, fam. Because real women understand what qualities they need to have in order to keep a man. You don't need to be asking man to be paying for this, this and that. You don't have to be asking for mad shit like this. This is just for average things who think they're nicer than what they are. And this is for wounded women who want to try to get back at men. That shit hurting. This is all this advice is for. This is just breeding a new toxic line of women. And I thought feminists were fucking toxic enough, bro. But apparently there's more to it. Last clip and then we're done. There's two things a woman want to hear. Her cash app and Zell. And what's her full name and birthday? Book her a trip. If you really want her, do something different. Stop asking her to the movies, at the dinner. She can drive there herself. Do something no one else is asking her for. She can drive there herself, but more time, it's not so much. It's not so much the place you're going to. It's what you can provide to the person, whether it's banter, whether it's just uh, speaking, exchanging knowledge, um, your energy, your presence. I'm not going to lie. This is some beta male shit right here. I'm going to tell you right now, fam. And a lot of women ain't falling for this. Only weak women fall for this shit, bruv. That's all it is, bruv. All these things talking about, oh, I gotta bag me a man like that, bruv. You're meaty at best, fam. So humble yourself about you gotta bag a man like this, bruv. Because let's be real, fam. You look like a bag of Doritos from chatting this bullshit, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. It's full of air, bruv. Your mind is full of air, blood. It's a big of stick on the steel. Take her on fucking vacation, you cheap, broke bastards. Otherwise, leave her alone. Let a rich demon come and get her. Oh, man. She need to be... Nobody want to hear about your spiritual future, motherfucker. She want to be on a plane getting back shots on a balcony. This is what creates societal pressure on men, by the way. Because there's dumb niggas like this who I'm sure are not doing these things, bro. Man's too busy giving his, his girlfriend 12 rounds in a fucking ring, bro. Beating the fuck out of her. Rather than fixing up his own fucking life. Bro. Man's talking about... Fix up this fucking mustache, blood. It's not a look, bro. It's not a look, fam. You look like a borderline sex offender, fam. Talking about, oh, my mustache goes two ways, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man, you weird-ass nigga, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, yeah. It's perfectly fine to do things for your girlfriend. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't make you no simp, nothing like that. If you want to book holidays for your girlfriend, go ahead. If you want to treat your girlfriend to her nails and that, go ahead. If you want to treat your girlfriend, just in general, just, just treat her like a queen, go right ahead. Do not do this for every girl, bruv. Because every girl does not deserve this. I'm sorry to say it. Some of you things do not deserve this kind of treatment, fam. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Unless you're wifey, unless you've been riding or dying with man since the fucking beginning, you should not get any of this treatment, fam. Talking about some, oh, oh, fucking, you gotta take her on a trip. For fucking what, bruv? For what? So I can get some pussy, bruv. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you ain't putting out, the next thing will, fam. That's all I'm going to say, bro. The apples at the top of the tree do not taste any better than the ones at the fucking bottom, fam. So don't forget that more time. You're talking about some, oh, I need a man to do this and that. And you're adding nothing to the fucking conversation, bro. Then get the fuck out of here. That's all it is, bro. I just want to have a little rant because I feel like mandem like this are just gassing average and meaty things, bro. And I went through his comment section. I went through it. There are the meatiest things on there, bro. And I'm just like, yo, you shouldn't be getting gas at this, at this advice, bro, because you're going to have to suck a lot of... Explain Shut up! I'm telling you right now, from a lot of these meaty things that are moving with this kind of mindset, you are going to have to suck a lot of dick to find happiness. That's what I'm going to say, bro. Because a next man is not going to bless you just like that, bro. It's going to take a lot for a man to want to be with someone of this mentality. And even then, you're going to be washed up by them, bro. That's what I'm going to say. But listen, that's the video for today. Don't listen to this fucking idiot. Man, them don't feel pressured by this clown. More time, it is what it is. Don't be thinking that you need to be doing all this and that. At the end of the day, just be you and the right woman will reveal herself to you. The same advice for you ladies. Just be yourself. The right guy will come along. He will treat you like a queen. Man, then you'll get treated like a king. Do not be putting yourself out there for these meaty average m fucking chuckle brothers looking things bro because at the end of the day the only one getting hurt is you man man, man woman whatever pronoun makes you feel comfortable you are the prize but don't act like a don't act don't act and think that there aren't other prizes bro you go to an arcade there's not just one price available you know there's bare prizes you just gotta make sure you're the one worth winning that's all i'm saying bro but yeah that's the video for today Take care, you lot. If you've got any more people that you want me to react to, like this fucking simp right here, this beta male ass. 
Man looks like a light-skinned Hitler, if I'm honest, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, fam. With that fucking mustache shit. Now, like, this is the type of nigga to go out here, yeah, spend money on a girl, and she'll, she'll, she'll still cheat on him, bro. If Bill Gates and fucking Jeff Bezos haven't taught you anything, fam, money cannot buy you love, you know? Them are the richest motherfuckers on earth. They couldn't keep their bitch. Don't put so much pressure on yourself, my Gs. But yeah, take care, you lot, in a bit.